dear blockchain is crypto trader and new welcome to this weekly news of the week update provided by T-Rox and this is what we're going to talk about today. First of all, we will talk about Mastercard joined the blockchain as well as altcoins are weaker than BTC. We will get over to Nestle's blockchain venture is very very challenging and Samsung is launching a crypto phone. Last but not least, we will talk about the blockchain and crypto to help save the Brazilian Amazoners and the CME Bitcoin futures average a 515 million daily volume. And now let's see over to the news. First of all, Mastercard joined the blockchain software firm R3's Marco Polo network. And how you can see over here, Jax Levitt, Transaction Banking Head of Europe, the Middle East and Africa at BNB Paribas, one of the Marco Polo network members said, Better flow of information across the whole value chain has the potential to drive significant benefits for all network members. And this means that they want to have all MasterCard users all you to then share all the informations to everyone who's using MasterCards to have a significant benefit for everyone. If you're taking a look at the crypto market, we can see that altcoins are taking a beating while Bitcoin price holds around 10 thousand five hundred and if you can see over here on the picture that BTC only dropped by nearly one percent while Ethereum and all the other coins dipped a lot more and this is something that is related to that more and more institutionals coming into this market and all the institutions of course are just buying Bitcoin due to Bitcoin is the largest the well known one and yeah it's just the market leader and this is why more and more market is flowing into BTC going away from the alt and this as well shifting the Bitcoin dominance a lot. Nestle admits that the blockchain venture has been more challenging than others and this is quite interesting due to Nestle said that they want to be long term into the blockchain and this is a long term journey, a short term bet and the Nestle Australia's chain of origin initiative to implement blockchain technology for supply chain management was nominated for a digital transformation award by United States based market intelligence firm the International Data Corporation and Nethard underscored that the project has been considerably more challenging than many other digital innovation plans spurring the organization to completely reevaluate its traditional business practices and he said that it has been testing how quickly we can move as an organization to completely review how we do business. From sourcing products at the micro lot level all the way through to tracking products individually to the end consumers. We are looking to see how this could scale to other product offers. So I guess it's more of a long term journey than a short term. But and here you can see that it's just a matter of time when the blockchain will rule the supply when the blockchain will be or will be a big player in this field to have a market lead here and how you can see Nestle as one of the global players are uh, in long term so this is as well quite bullish and he added uh, that the retailer's development of blockchain solutions is more than a buzzword and is focused on providing real world benefits and he said, we believe that blockchain is the enabler for organizations like Nestle to deliver supply chain transparency, but the ultimate value is ensuring freshness to consumers. All in all, a very bullish news. May some of you know that Samsung had this crypto wallet phone, this crypto wallet in uh, Samsung S10. There were this news, the rumors and stuff like this. And now sources are telling that Samsung wants to launch a Galaxy Note 10 crypto phone edition. And the Clayton phone will come with three cryptos and Clay is the in-house token of Clayton, the blockchain network Kakao revealed in conjunction with a dedicated spin of Ground X. And speaking to the um, WSY, the sources said each edition of Samsung Catlin edition of the Galaxy Note 10 would ship with an unknown amount of Clay. So this is just a song, but this can as well be quite bullish if Samsung is cooperating and sending phones with three cryptos. And the blockchain smartphones keep coming. The companies declined to comment on the release day, but as Cognitive reported, Samsung has already released a blockchain enabled smartphone beginning in March with the Galaxy S10, what I just told you a minute ago. So other operators have done likewise with another new offering announced just days ago. So basically, there wants to be 
a startup backed by cryptocurrency Huobi, whole network. Um, and this wants to have unveil its $500 acute angle next week. So as well, we can see that with innovations like 5G, blockchain smartphone, this can be very, very, very soon. And this can as well change the mobile market a lot. Now let's talk about the Brazilian Amazon. Blockchain and crypto could help to save it. And they want to talk about deforestation and fires in the Brazilian Amazon. And there, the Rainforest Foundation stated, since Bolsonaro took office in January, deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon is up 75% and forest fires in the Brazilian Amazon have doubled compared to the past year. As guardians of our rainforest, its animals and its people, we are working with the Giving Block to form a coalition of crypto sponsors, donors and media partners who will help stop this. And they can accept or they will accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash and other cryptocurrencies and then they want to assure the transparency using the blockchain. This is definitely what you can do. So basically people can spend or they can send cryptos to help and due to the blockchain helps to be transparent. No one will be scammed and everyone can feel safe about what they send and then they can help with the amount they collected. She added, business as usual has gotten us to this point. Philanthropy, as usual, won't get us out. We need innovative solutions and no one is more innovative than cryptocurrency users. And this is totally right. Those two crypto users are always up for new for innovations and stuff like this. So all in all, a very good thing you can do with crypto. And if you want to help, you know what to do. Last but not least, the CME Bitcoin futures average a 550 million daily volume in May. And this is quite good for this market and the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group Bitcoin Futures saw an average daily volume of 550 million in May 2019. And the Forbes reports on August that the CME Group Bitcoin Futures are seeing new records in trading activity. The CME Group Managing Director Tim McCord said that in May Bitcoin Futures were trading an average of more than 13,600 contracts each day equal to 550 million in notional value or the 8,000 equivalent bitcoins and this is a new trading volume record and as well showing that the market is still strong the bitcoin market is very strong and that there can be something very bullish soon when as well bucked and all the other institutionals coming out or going live thank you for watching this video i hope you like it if you like it give us a thumb up share or comment this video this week the news were quite bullish I personally like them a lot and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto update provided by T-Rox.